Hey, what's up? Kali here again. Um, welcome to a brand new Q&A video. Finally getting to do it. It's been a while. And uh, this is my third Q&A video. I'm finally doing it. There's only a few questions on this one. I, I'm sorry, guys. There's only a few questions on this one. I try to get more people to ask me questions. But, you know, hopefully in the next video I'll have more questions that, to, to answer. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. This one's from Listen, the first one's from Listen to the Musical. How old are you? I'm 18. This one's from M MS Lizzie Borden. How many tattoos do you have? I don't have any tattoos. I really want to get tattoos, but my but my parents won't allow it. My like I'm, I'm 18. I want to get a tattoo on my back, but you know, it's just too, it's too much. It hurts like a, like a bitch too, you know, and I, it's just, I would get one, but it, in ways I wouldn't, because it would hurt like a bit, like a bitch, you know. Uh, uh, this one's from All Right Bert. Do you have a favorite British movie? I, I don't really, ha I don't really like, like watch British movies, really. I'm not, I didn't really get into those. I, I guess Mr. Bean, but I don't, I don't, can, I don't think that's a British movie. I could be wrong, but if it, if it is a British movie, it would be Mr. Bean, but I'm not really big with British movies. This one's from the same guy, All Right Bert. If you could have act, acted the lead role in any movie, which one would it be and why? Probably, probably Jack Nicholson, The Shining. That really inspired me. I really enjoyed that. Or Bruce Campbell, The Evil Dead movie, or something like that. Yeah, it's. I, I'm really big with horror movies and comedies. There's so many movies I would love to be a lead role in, but yeah. Many, many movies I would love to be a lead role in. This one's from M. S. Lizzie Borden. Oh, oh, and one more. Have the neighbors ever called the police when you hear all the screaming coming from your house while you're filming? Well, we filmed them at Douglas's house, and yes, one one time, only one time. This was this was our first movie. It was the wreck. The Chillers, Raccoons at Dawn, like, episode, like, Goosebumps thing, it came out so bad, it was our first movie when we were, like, eight, it's on YouTube, I'll put the link on the bottom screen so you can check that out, I don't think you guys are gonna like it, it's, you're probably gonna laugh your ass off, I did, it's all outtakes, it's really stupid, but, um, when, when, Rhea, when my, when Rhea dressed up as the, when, was the raccoon, was wearing the raccoon mask, we were screaming, and the neighbors were kind of, they didn't really call, they didn't call the police, but they were just asking us, what's all this commotion? And we said, we're doing a movie. So, but that's the only time basically we've ever get, you know, they, we never got the, they never called the police. But all we, you know, we just got complaints from the neighbors. That's about it. But never, the police never came to our house. This, this one's from M S Lizzie Borden. <clears throat> how, how do you come with your gore effects? What software program to use to edit your movies for uh for gore effects what do we, we use we, we we come up we get we use all types corn syrup red food dye sometimes we use raw meat in one of the films concoction of death i actually ate the raw meat at the end and i shouldn't have it made me very sick i was puking my guts out it was a big mistake i got really into the character and you know that's whenever i'm in whenever i do a movie i get really into it and i take it a little too far but you know just that one time I took it too far I was I was really getting into the character and I ate the meat it was disgusting I don't know what what I was thinking I had red food dye and shit never eat raw meat it's disgusting and uh, we come up with our gore effects mainly from the evil we get them from the, we get we get inspired we're inspired by evil dead Sam Raimi's the evil dead and Lucio Fulci movies we really love the we really like zombie and we, a lot of Lucio Fulci movies we like in Dire Argento we're, and Lloyd Kaufman, Choma. That's where we basically get, get our gore effects from. We, Yeah, that's how we come up with gore effects. We just come with, up with them like ourselves, you know, very, like we just create our own gore, gore effects, really. What software program do you use to edit your movies? iMovie. Last but not least, this is from Led Zeppelin, nineteen forty-two. Um, I actually really like this guy's videos. He's really, he's really cool. I met him at the Chiller Convention. He's a really cool fan of mine. I love his videos. They're really inspiring. Have you ever acted in a real feature film? Definitely check out his videos. I'll put the link to his channel underneath this video. 
Have you ever acted in your in a real feature film? Not yet. We I'm I'm supposed to be working in in a feature film with that Sean's Sean, Sean C. Phillips. My, my I'm a big fan of Sean C. Phillips, and he asked me to play a scene in his new Lust for and in, in a movie like a Lust for Blood type movie that he did. It's a it's like a remake, but like a like a better. It's like a motion picture. Like you know, remake of Lust for Blood, and I and I play as the boyfriend and the girlfriend. I play in a nude scene with the girl, with the with the girl. Like you know, with a with my girlfriend. She's nude, and I play as the boyfriend, and we get killed. But I'm not gonna say how. I don't even know how we get killed yet. But it's gonna be a surprise. I'll let you guys all know when that's done. And yeah, so that I'm waiting to be in that. I'm waiting for that one to be. I'm I'm hopefully gonna be in that film. I'm going to be featured, me and Doug and Mark are also going to be featured in Macabre Medicine. Our, we made a Grindhouse trailer it, for uh, Will DeVokes', Will DeVokes is Macabre Medicine. We made a Grindhouse trailer, and it, I think you guys are really going to like that one. And, I, I so, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a really great movie. I, I definitely think you guys are going to like it. It's really cool. And Sean and MJ also appear in it as well. When is depiction of a man man coming? Um, I'm not sure yet. We're still filming a lot of scenes. There's a lot we a lot of stuff we have to film, a lot of scenes we have to do, and hopefully the summer, sometime in August or something, it might come out. And uh, I'll let you guys all know when that's out. But right now we're still filming scenes, and and but it's coming really good. You guys, I think this is going to be our best one so far. You guys are really going to love this one. I can't wait to finish it. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, you guys are really gonna like it. What's a film you, you will be acting in? Like I said, Macabre Medicine, uh, Macabre Medicine, and uh, so so far Macabre Medicine and Sean's movie, Lust, the Lust for Blood movie. I do want to get into more stuff. I talk to directors and stuff about uh, being in movies, and uh, yeah, I'm try I'm just you know try I'm trying to get, get into feature films. Well, those were all my. Those are all the questions for this Q and A video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you later. All right, peace, and I hope you enjoyed this video.